Have they really done it again? Are Kiwi is unstoppable right now? Welcome to the channel or welcome back guys. In today's video I'm reviewing the Kiwi Ears Melody Planar IEM sub $100. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So they're just, they're releasing a lot. And at first I was a bit angry that they released one so soon after the quintet came out. But actually, now that I've had spent some time with it, I'm glad that they did. Let me tell you about it. It's, uh, the price is $89. And inside is a single planar magnetic driver. But interestingly, it's a 12 millimeter. Most of the ones that we've been seeing lately are like 14.5 millimeter. So this one is slightly smaller. 12 millimeter planar magnetic driver, $89. What do you get? Well, I can tell you the unboxing experience is pretty sparse. All you get in the box is your IEMs, the detachable uh, silver plated cable with 0.78 millimeter two pin connectors. And the cable is okay. It's kind of, it's what you would expect in the sub $100 region. It's a good quality cable, but it's a bit thin and tangly, but nothing, nothing to uh, complain about really. In addition to that, you get like six pairs of silicone ear tips. And this is the IEMs. That's what they look like. So they actually look quite similar to the $219 Kiwi Ears Quintet, except the Quintet has got silver colored face plates, which are uh, slightly convex, I think is the word I'm looking for. But here you just got a matte black finish with the Kiwi Ears logo. And on the inside, you've got a matte black finish. It's a different material resin than the Quintet. And in my opinion, I think this one actually feels, I don't know, it feels pretty darn good for a sub $100 IEM. You know what? It looks like these were printed by the same guys that do the truthier IEMs, the Hexa and whatnot. It's got that matte finish. It's got that nice solid feel to it. But anyway, I digress. These are very comfortable, uh, maybe even more comfortable than the Quintet because they're not as wide. They don't protrude out from your ears so much. That's what the nozzles look like. So yeah, they're built nicely. They're very comfortable and I think they look pretty sweet. All right, let's get into the sound. And if you're wondering why I've got them propped up like this, it's because they simply refuse to stand up on a slippery surface. So I've got a little bit of a cleaning cloth there under them just so you can Feast your eyes on that goodness there. Now, you may or may not have heard about how the sound, let me tell you right off the bat, we're straying away from the traditional Kiwi Ears sound signature, which is balanced in their words, and we're straying away from the typical Harmon response, which is quite interesting and I would say rather refreshing. I think we've all had our fill at least for now, of, you know, sub-100 Harman-tuned IEMs. It's just getting a bit out of control. So it's nice to see something a little bit different. And what the difference is with the melody here, basically, you get some more mid-bass and lower mid-range fullness. And traditionally, with the Harman, you know, the last probably two years, the trend has been to scoop out that mid and upper bass and um, elevate the sub bass like like the um you probably heard neutral with the sub bass boost uh, it's just become so just so obnoxious every time i hear that i just laugh now because you know enough is enough so the melody here is bringing something a little bit different we're bringing that fullness back to the low end and i like that and yes, I know there are downsides to doing that, but in the end, I think it works out really well here for the Kiwi Ears melody. Let me tell you why. First of all, the bass is, well, it's lovely. It's really nice. Actually, I think I've got a graph. I might throw that up here. So you can see there, it's kind of like a light v shape sound signature there you've got a boosted sub bass and mid bass and the transition between the two 
is fairly linear instead of that usual slope that we've been seeing so much of. And what that does, it just gives a bit more kick, a bit more thump, a bit more authority to the mid bass, while at the same time maintaining some nice rumble when it's needed in the sub bass. And then you get a nice slope down into the mid range there. So we get this nice fullness in the mid bass and that's that gives the mid bass some more thump, some more authority, a bit more punchiness to it. It's still nice and clean though. It is a planar driver after all. So it is still, it does still have very good definition, nice clean leading edges, but it's just got that fullness behind it. And it's especially helpful for baritone vocals, male baritones and things like cellos, wind, uh, sorry, string instruments. It's got that nice resonance to them. Because of the speed and precision of this planar driver, it, everything still sounds clean. You still get nice, uh, clean transients. It's very snappy, it's very tidy. So vocals have got a nice bit of richness to them. And then in the upper mid range, you get that nice boost in the presence region. So they're up front as well. Even though you do have a, like a slight V shape on the graph there, the vocals are plenty forward. So you're not missing out on any of those. And then the treble, the treble is fairly lively as well and it reminds me somewhat of the Kiwi Is Quintet and if you saw that review you know I am a huge fan of the Quintet's treble and I'm hearing traces of that here as well. So I think Kiwi Is is on a... I like the way they're doing treble right now. And basically it's got good density, it's got good note size, it is nice and precise, it's it's a it's got a bit a little bit of shimmer to it it's not just dull and lifeless it's got a bit of shimmer you you could even say on occasions it's got some sparkle to it the top end extension is very good as well and of course with that comes very good detail retrieval and what we haven't what we've been missing rather is you know a full bodied low end with a nice forward treble with good detail retrieval. So you're really getting the best of both worlds here. And overall the melody, by the way, ah, oh, look, I, I had it so set up so nicely and I must've got too excited. And I think I forgot to mention, just like the quintet review, this one was a bit rushed. So I apologize in advance if it seems a bit um, all over the place and a bit um, scattered, but look, 89 bucks, oh, I've done it again, $89, Put simply, this is one of the best sub $100 IEMs on the market right now. I think it's fantastic. If you are looking for that ultimate in cleanliness and every sparrow fart in the distance, you want that ultimate micro detail retrieval and everything, then there are probably other options out there. If you want something that's really fully mid forward and very light on the base with that typical scooped out upper bass, then something else will do you better. But if you're looking for something that's musical, engaging, just a bit more fun, but at the same time, very technically adept, uh, then this one should be great for you. It's got good instrument separation. It's got good imaging. It's got good treble extension. It's uh, the, the sub bass reaches down nice and deep. That mid bass has got nice fullness and punch and authority. And overall, this is a fantastic IEM. And I just have to say, Kiwi Ears, you've done it again. You've created another winner. It's probably... I'd say it's currently the best planar under 100 and arguably the best IEM under 100, but that depends slightly on personal preference. Like it would definitely be, definitely be in my top three or top five, regardless of driver configuration and whatnot. So I'm not going to do any comparisons in this review. If you want a comparison with the Kefine Clanar, then check out my Clanar video. But uh, apart from that, I'm just going to wrap it up here. This is an excellent IEM. If you're looking for something sub 100 uh, to buy during these 1111 sales, put this very, very high on your list. I fully recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like, Parfam audio file style. And I would really appreciate if you haven't subscribed yet to just hit that subscribe button so you'll see more of my content in the future. And until next time, I'll see you later.